Section 203 of the Bipartisan Campaign Reform Act made it a felony for corporations to extend corporate funds for electioneering communications, defined as TV or radio broadcasts aired shortly before an election that named a federal political candidate and targeted voters. In McConnell v. Federal Election Commission, the Supreme Court held that the electioneering communications ban wasn't facially overbroad as applied to ads consisting of express candidate advocacy or the functional equivalent of express advocacy. But the court didn't address whether the electioneering communications ban was constitutional as applied to genuine issue ads. Four years later, the court answered that question in Federal Election Commission v. Wisconsin Right to Life. Months before a federal primary election, Wisconsin Right to Life, a nonprofit corporation, broadcasted ads that advocated against a Senate filibuster that delayed judicial confirmations. The ads ended by directing Wisconsin voters to urge Senators Feingold and Cole to oppose the filibuster. Wisconsin wanted to continue these ads up until the election, but knew that doing so would be illegal under the electioneering communications ban. So, Wisconsin asked a federal district court to enjoin the Federal Election Commission from enforcing the ban against it, arguing that the provision was unconstitutional as applied to Wisconsin's ads. The district court dismissed the complaint, but the Supreme Court remanded, ordering the district court to decide the case on the merits. The district court then declared that the electioneering communications ban was unconstitutional as applied to Wisconsin's ads because they consisted of genuine issue advocacy, and no compelling government interest justified the regulation of such ads. The Supreme Court subsequently granted cert.